Scotland stands at the dawn of a new era in the production of offshore renewable energy. A floating wind farm is being installed just off the coast of Aberdeen. This is the mooring line prelay activities related to a project called King Carden Project, which eventually will consist of several number of offshore floating wind turbines. Many floaters have already been installed in the North Sea by the oil and gas industry, but this floater is the first semi-submersible install for the floating offshore wind. <laughs> in its role as installation contractor, Bourbon Subsea manages all operations. Vryhoff are their mooring solutions partner. I think we can say we have a unique expertise in the floating offshore wind market. Vryhoff so far has supplied most of the mooring solutions globally. We are currently ahead of schedule, and this is in particular related to that very good collaboration with a uh, variety of people. The operation starts with the arrival of the floater in Edinburgh a few weeks earlier. Once the floater is safely offloaded from the transport vessel, it is towed to Dundee for the installation of the wind turbine. The fixed wind farm market will continue to grow at the same pace for many years, but its development will slow down because of the limitation of water depth. There is no limitation with the floating wind farm. We can literally go everywhere. But I believe it's the future of the offshore wind. With the arrival of the floater in Dundee, the assembly of the wind turbine is set in motion. Meanwhile, 100 miles north, the installation vessel, chartered by Bourbon Subsea, is ready to set sail to the offshore Kincardine site. OK, thanks, Lester. We're just about to cast off and head out to the location. The weather expected is going to be good for a few days. Uh, pick up a little bit towards the end of the week, but it shouldn't cause us any problem for the job. Next morning, all is ready to install the first of four anchors. The operation was uh, split in two parts. First is the prelay, and then when this will be complete, the uh, wind float will come on location to be hooked up. In light, action. The installation tolerances on this type of job are very strict. The target to uh, place down column seabed is tight, much more tight than to work with a rig. But with this experienced team, the result met all expectations. That's spot on. Wow. The assembly of the wind turbine approaches its finale. Wind float technology is uh, designed to be fully assembled at the quay side. Then you go offshore where you have pre-installed a mooring system. So the lines are waiting for you. So you hook up, connect to the electrical cable, and you're ready to produce without bringing massive vessels and expensive operations that normally happen offshore. We believe that uh, floating offshore wind allows for the industry to chase the best wind resource and to really reduce dramatically the costs of installations that the industry has not seen before. I believe that uh, next year we'll be able to say that we are the one who installed the most floating wind turbines in the world. So we want to continue to be the leader in the uh, wind turbine installation. <laughs> Operation complete. We support the industry to the next step, which will be larger scale farms. Mm -hmm.